Now, I didn't need a thermometer to tell me that it's hot up here in the attic, but I sort of wanted to know just how hot. But our thermometer only goes to 120, and as you can see, we're hotter than that. I suspect maybe 140 degrees. You see, we got hot sunshine on the outside, and we got no ventilation on the inside, and that leads to heat. We're going to show you how you can actually use the sun to help you beat the heat. We're going to show you how to install a solar-powered ventilator. It's an easy install, and I'm going to show you how right now. What we want to do now is to be sure we center it in between the rafters. It's 22 inches, so we're going to go to 11 inches up here, make our mark, coming down a little bit from the peak of the roof. Now, in order to reference this spot up on the roof, we're going to take a screw and put through there, going all the way through. Be sure you got a screw that's long enough. That'll be our center point for where we're going to start installing. Now here's our solar ventilator. It's very lightweight and it's really efficient too. You see this turbine is spinning around up here because of the wind. It's only taking out about 100 cubic feet of hot air per minute. With this baby, we'll be taking out 650 cubic feet per minute. Now here's our screw. This is a piece of packing. It's styrofoam. We're going to center the screw right in this hole here. Now we're going to use this piece of packing to draw around so we can know where to cut to install our unit. It's as simple as that. Now you probably noticed that I'm wearing something different. It's a safety harness. We feel like anytime you're up on the roof, you ought to have some way to protect yourself from falling. The harness plus a tethered rope, and that's going to mean that you won't be able to fall all the way off. It costs about 35 bucks, but it's worth it to save life and limb. We're going to be using a reciprocating saw to do our cutting. And you'll notice that I'm not going to cut right here on the line. We're going to line up this, which is a guard, right up against the line. That'll give us the 13 inches across that we need. So let's get busy. See, another good reason for that screw in there can use it as a handle. It doesn't have to fall down into the attic. Our next step is to be able to put this flashing in under there, but in order to do it, we're going to have to work it in under these shingles over here. That means we got to pry them up, and I'll show you a trick on how to do that. They're held in place by an asphalt roofing compound that's underneath here, and we're going to use a pry bar and keep working at it. You have to take it slow and easy because we want to raise the shingle up and at the same time not tear it. But once you get going, it'll come loose. And just be patient because you'll get there eventually. And that's what it looks like underneath. And we just have to keep doing this all the way around wherever the flashing is going to go under the shingle. Now we're going to slide the flashing piece in under the shingles, making sure that we go over the tar paper that's underneath. And it really goes into place pretty easily. Once you get it up there, you want to snug it up. Now before we put the flashing in place, we put a generous bead of the silicone sealant all the way around on the underneath side. We've got some more sealant to put up here, but first we need to put some screws in. One goes right here. Now we want to put some of the silicone sealant under each and every one of these shingles that we pried loose and also over the screw heads. This is going to help to keep it down and prevent any kind of leaks. Now one of the beauties about solar is the fact that there's no electrical wiring, there's no thermostat that's needed, no humidistat. You probably wonder what this cardboard is doing on here. Well, let me show you. That's to keep sun from hitting these solar panels because it would start to fan up. So now we know that that's how it runs by mother nature. All we have to do now is just drop it in place now the fan may look little, but it does big things. And even though it's going to be running anytime the sun's shining, you'll never hear it because it's got whisper quiet technology. Now the top part is held to the flashing by screws. We've got to put four of them in here. And what's great about this is that the plastic is treated with a special coating so it will never have any damage from the sun. Well, now that our easy installation has been done, we're going to remove the cover and let the sunshine in. 
Incidentally, these solar panels are made of a special plastic and they have a special coating on them so that they can withstand hail and wind, whatever Mother Nature can throw at it. Let's go take a look inside in the attic and see what Mr. Thermometer has to say. Well now, according to the thermometer, it's at least 40 degrees cooler up here. I can tell the difference. And I want you to listen to that fan for a second. You can't hear it. It's great. You know, it was an easy installation, cost about 350 bucks total, and it's going to be well worth it because it'll pay for itself in energy saving.